What the heck? Oh! Wait, what? That is ridiculously heavy. Oh man, that's sad. Sorry, Bubba. Please, no doggy ashes. Oh. Uh-uh, this is something different. What is in there? Whenever you see a military bag, you're automatically thinking, maybe weapons. And she found an envelope that contained $27,000. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, today started out fantastic. Why? Because my friend Tom Cruise called me up and said, hey, I've got a buyer for all those records, that big record collection that we found in the first pallet auction. All right, that, if you remember, that was a huge collection, mostly like modern stuff, alt rock, emo, um, very clean, near mint records in the bags, some really cool stuff. Well, he found a buyer to buy all of it, Called me up, said, dude, come get your cash. So Jana and I jumped in the car and headed over. You're about to see that in a second. But first, let me share with you what we saw on the road on the way over, which is very peculiar. Check this out. Now you can get a way better look. It's going to go around it. So you can see this highway patrol right here. Escorts in the front, too, as well. And uh, this is it. Oh, that is so massive, right? It's really big. Wow, what is that, people? We're coming right alongside of it now. Yeah, there's some sort of a tank. Wow. I would not be surprised if that's to do with like sewer system or something. That is insane. My question is, where are they going? I understand why they have the escorts because it's causing a lot of yeah, traffic right confusion. In. Yeah. Niners. 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 Hey, Locker Nuts, how we doing? Good. I'm doing great. Yeah. So. Hey, we sold that uh, alt rock, indie rock, emo record collection. Emo. I, love mm. it. I know. So it's emo, right? So yeah. So <laughs> a guy came out, looked at it, said, "I'm in. Let's do it. Cash money." Awesome. That's so awesome. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So we're we here, that. here in the warehouse, looking at all my crazy boxes, and believe it or not. Hey Mary, hey everybody. <laughs> these are all records. All oh, these are records. Up and down, up and down, everywhere, 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 everywhere. So how, what Man. kind of order are you keeping in the alphabetical order? Well, there's no order. There's no order? No, it's disorder. Wow. <laughs> so this is what you do, just open them up and you have like a cell out here or something? Yeah, yeah, okay. what I do is I open up uh, the warehouse for a sale about four times a month. Okay. And I let guys come in here and they graze and I do really good deals with them because I'm really trying to move a lot of this stuff out. Yeah. And so I'm happy to see it all go. It's a, quite a mess really. It's kind of a work in progress because I moved a 10 by 20 in my garage and in my basement and oh my gosh, I wouldn't tell you everywhere else records were. So this is everything. This is everything. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Did you start out collecting and it grew into this? Yes. Okay, so yeah. you just love records? You yeah, I started I started DJing, That's what I was and then okay. I was in a, a club where you get a lot of records when you're promoting music. They'll give you a bunch of records, too. Mm -hmm. So this collection of mine just kept growing and growing. Nice. And then I, I was DJing at the same time, and it just became this out-of-control beast. And How many do you think there are? 25 years later, so. What's your estimate count? Uh, at one point there were 70,000 records in here. Now it's parsed down about 40. Okay. Yeah, because wow. I had to really charity off a lot of stuff that I didn't consider really worth handling. Uh -huh. You know, dollar records, you know, I can't do that. So mm -hmm. you got to really look and see what you can do and how you can move it easily. And But yeah. So I have a There's question. A, yes. If you could only keep one record, uh, what would it be? Maybe. Wow, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, had one record to listen to every day. What well, would it be? Wow. Give me top three. I'll go easy on you. Yeah, I, I, I used to really like um, breakdancing records. Okay. So I would pick something like Electric Kingdom or something like that because everybody remembers the. So is this like an '80s thing? Yeah, Your total '80s, 80s thing. Yeah. Okay. And then probably something in a jazz funk, like a Eddie Russ jazz funk. Okay. The Egg. That's a great record. Um, and maybe something by Pink Floyd. 
Pink Floyd, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. This right. is Jack's favorite part of a transaction. Let's count it out. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundo. Wow. That's right. Thank you. Hey, no, 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 thank you, man. I'm, I appreciate it. Happy to help. Yeah, thank you um, for I storing wish we him. I got a little more, but that's kind of where it went. That's all right. And we okay appreciate it. Yay. Yeah. God bless. It's uh, anytime we can move something and make a little smile, yes. <laughs> it's almost how much I spent yesterday at the pallet auction. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, so he's a happy <laughs> camper. All, zero. all right, what is up, Locker Nuts? We are at a unit that I bought this week. You may have heard me talk about it in an earlier video. This one we bought on Monday. We bought two that day. This is the one we paid 325 So the other one we cleaned out. I already showed you what happened there. Is the richest man in the world. Uh, this one, however had way more intrigue to it and promise. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in just a second because we're gonna open this up. But first, I just wanna say that we're not cleaning this out today. We might grab a few items, but yesterday was a big pallet auction. Uh, my locker's full. I really wanna get back there. I'm sure you want me to get back there too so you can see what's in those boxes because there's lots of speakers. But I had to come here because I'm passing my deadline to clean out. So I had to rent it for a month, 37 bucks. Come on, that's not a bad deal. We're going to um, have plenty of time to get back here and go through this thorough, but right now let's take a peek. You ready? Let's see what's inside. You ready? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, junky and funky. But I think it's good too. I think it's good too. All right, let me take this off the camera tripod. Oh yeah, this is, I'm excited. Let's take a look. Yeah, 325 bucks for this at the auction. And uh, this is what we saw from the doorway. And this is what made me pull the trigger. Why, well, I don't know, but my friend Manuel was digging on this one too. He saw stuff I didn't see, but let me just show you around. See what you guys see. What do you see in here right now that you, that you like, that you dislike? What are your thoughts? What stands out to you? What would make you say, Mm -mm. I'm staying away from this one. This is not my type of locker. Or what do you see in here that makes you say, yeah, if I was there, I would have bid on that one too. What do you like? I'll tell you what I liked, all right? Number one, this chest right here. Now it's painted like an army green. Does that make it a military trunk? I can only hope, but it's got a, definitely a cool look to it. It's old on top, weathered. It's got a little... Not, I don't know if that's a lock or some kind of latch, but that is interesting. Definitely my imagination goes crazy with this. It could have guns in there. It could have gold. We just don't know what is in there. Uh, right here, we have a military bag. Now, there's not really any mystery to that. That definitely looks like a military bag, right? It's even got the markings. So military bags definitely intrigue us. Definitely, definitely. A couple of uh, suitcases there. I'm not too interested in that. Uh, this right here was was a, a plus. I'll put that in the pros column. This is decent. It is a rigid chop saw, miter saw, and uh, that'll sell for a few bucks. Then uh, yeah, we got another piece of luggage here. These little dumbbells. I know that seems silly, but there's a few bucks there. Those are easy to sell and they get some decent money. A lot of bags up here. A lot of those bags. Um, so, but really, what got me was mostly this. And that those two items made me say, I'm curious. Um, this made me feel like I'd get some money back. But I'll show you what Manuel saw here. Didn't even notice. You know, we've got this big desk right here sitting on its side. But Manuel saw what was behind there. And this completely just camouflaged to me. It just kind of blended in. Manuel said that, saw that and said, dude, that's a huge cardboard box right there. And to him, he's thinking appliance, like a refrigerator or something. And behind that, he thought he saw potentially a second one. We couldn't see all that well, but it looks like there's another cardboard box behind it. Now, if those are two big, say, brand new refrigerators, we are so in the money. It's ridiculous. Okay, these green crates are here, tubs. I also like those. Those are the ones I put my antiques in. We go to the antique market. Those are my, one of my favorite type of tubs. Yeah, ooh, there's another one back there too. And there's a little dolly right there. Four wheeled. Could be used for the appliances perhaps. All right. So 
that's what we saw guys and that's what we got so now it's got to start cleaning it out what do you think Ta-da! it's interesting right i mean it's definitely got some intrigue to it it also got some junkiness to it it's got uh you know how everything's like on its side shoved in shoved here shoved there this is an eight by eleven eight feet no it's gotta be eight feet wide eleven feet deep kind of a funky size 88 square feet so i thought it was a 10 by 10 it seemed a little smaller and i was right uh 88 square feet of mystery here to go through so we'll get started let me get my uh that new gopro on we'll start looking around a little bit closer and you get a bird's eye view of that or a uh, a locker nuts eye view of that but uh earlier today we just got back from tom cruise a visit to tom cruise such great news we sold those records i'm sure i included that in the video and uh yeah i'm feeling pretty good because my funds were getting a little bit low for auctions and now got a nice big fat stack of cash all right took me a second to get gloved up here this one does look kind of dirty so i want to make sure i get some gloves on i do have standards i do i do and i got a garbage bag because i don't know i just have a hunch that i might need it on this one what the heck oh wait what that is ridiculously heavy that ain't even funny that's so dang heavy okay now i'm curious oh man holy smokes that's heavy super duper heavy okay Maybe this thing's filled with more dumbbells or something. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Chain. Chain. Lots and lots of chain. You know what? Chain will sell. That's like it'll sell to the tool, guys. It's kind of an odd thing to put your chains in the luggage though, but chains is not a bad a bad news. That's a good news. Okay, what do we got here? Laundry. Laundry rack. Ironing board, obviously. Got some moving blankets here. Oh, and some paint. Lovely. Okay. Let's get this guy on. Rigid. Now I will take that home and probably list that like tonight or tomorrow because I should be able to sell that locally very easily and get a little of my money back. All right, what do we got here? All right, what do we got here? South Pole. Hmm. All right, it's got down stuffing. Makes it a little bit decent. Let's see. That's cool. That's very cool. No size, no tag. Kind of like that though. All right. I was hoping for something a little bit better in these bins, but so far the clothes look decent. Decent. Okay. Hmm. That's seen better days. Nip. Nip, 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 nip. Okay, these are good right now. More jackets. Ooh, Nautica. Double XL. You know. That's my size, and that's one of my favorite brands, too. Now I can make some good stuff. Even though it says made in China, they make some good stuff. This is a nice jacket right there. Put that aside. What is this? DuPont Kevlar. What is this, a motorcycle jacket? Yeah, I think that's what this is. I feel the the pads inside on the shoulder on the elbows on the back anywhere that if you fell and were skidding down the highway vault armor systems that is really interesting and it looks like 
Maybe he took a little spill too, huh? Let's look at all this. Hmm. Still, it's interesting. Just to uh, give you some motivation. Yeah. There's a, uh, a story that, that, uh, that recently there was an auction and somebody paid one dollar for the unit it was mainly garbage and yeah went through everything and she found an envelope and it contained twenty seven thousand dollars oh that's the she was here the yeah, lady huh twenty seven thousand dollars yeah she told me she took vacation right after that why not that was here i didn't realize it was here i didn't either i just uh, somebody told me about it but, uh, man. good for her i know she's a nice lady yeah yeah i mean just knowing her from the auction she seems nice cool yeah, good for her. Good luck, man. Um, that keeps me going. <laughs> See <ya>. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, some work for Toyota. Twenty-seven grand. Who leaves twenty-seven thousand in cash in your locker? Who has twenty-seven thousand in cash? I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, ah, what's this? What is this thing? I have a feeling it's some sort of exercise machine. Okay. Oh, I almost missed this. I did see this. This is another reason why I took the plunge on this. Because I saw Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson's so hot. It looks like this might be a motorcycle parts. Well, who knows what's in here. Huh. Who knows what's in there. If it's all complete, but... uh air hose um harley davidson could be big money that was another reason why i pulled the trigger here all right what else should we look at this guy uh, what does this look like to me like you put your knees here and you probably i think you're gonna be like rocking back and forth getting your your sides like a side ab workout that's my guess. Okay, what we got here? Hmm. Hmm. We got some junk. And we got a few things that look interesting. This, to, to me, appears to be a replica. I think those are LEDs in there. Old Brooklyn Lantern. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Nothing. Nothing too interesting, but you know what? I wonder if it's... If that thing is bright, I might actually be able to use that, like, in the locker. In my other locker, it gets dark at night. What else we got? This looks interesting. Nope. Mm -hmm. okay. Alarm clock, what's this? Oh, this is an interesting box. Look at there's another wood box right there. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a uh, dang it, Max. Uh, I mean, he lived 14 years old. This is someone's dog, Bubba. It says Max here, but then it says Bubba. Adventure seeker, loyal friend, faithful companion, always looking for a good time and a great view, Bubba. Oh man, that's sad. Sorry, Bubba. I'm so, so sorry. But I'm definitely more interested in what this might be. This one's... Opens. Please, no doggy ashes. Oh. Uh-uh. This is something different. Okay, I'm thinking it's probably a game. But of course we're hoping jewelry. Oh, it's a game. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, this one's seen a little bit of these. Okay. Got some nice tablecloths. Nice set of binoculars here. Simmons. Oh, that's decent. Magnavox DVD player. American Girls Collection. It's just American. It's a little, like, paper dolls. Can you see in there? Mm. Alright. Here we got some glass decoration, decorative beads and such. Little mouse. 
I wonder what size grill cover cover because my grill cover is thrashed. I'm gonna take that home and use it. What is this? CPR. Anytime. Project of Alameda County. Or I was thinking maybe it's a defib defibrillator. Defibrillator. I don't know how to say that, but inflatable test dummy for practicing CPR. Hmm. And that's the first, guys. I've never seen. <laughs> so that's creepy. That's creepy. Look at that. I've never seen that before. It has a DVD too to teach you how. Hmm. Okay. Maybe there's a eBay market for that. It's kind of the box has seen better days though. Okay. Next box. Blinky. What do we got here? Autodesk University. Hmm. It's empty. Autodesk is software, right? For architecture and such, like CAD software, I think. And I'm not sure if that's the same Autodesk, but I would assume that it is. So what is Autodesk University? Picture frames. Brand new mouse. Page walker, huh? Hmm. So how much picture frames? I see something a little bit interesting. You see this, you guys? Look at this right here, this metal table. So since we took off these bins right here, the plastic totes, there's this right here. And it says straw pack, S-T-R-A pack. It's got a serial number on there. What could this be? This looks almost industrial. I'm curious about that. I'm curious about that. Let's see what else we got in here. Ah. Choose. Steve Madden. NYNC. Some kid stuff. Little booties. Okay. I don't see any Jordans. I don't see any Gucci. There's the Nike Swish. There's a Nike Air. It's definitely used though. I keep looking. I don't have my hopes too high though. They're all worn, huh? Alright. Box of shoes. Used shoes. Dirty shoes. What's light? Uh, I thought it was like a. Oh, it is. <laughs> I thought it was a bag that held something. It looked like a big sack. And you know what it holds? You're not gonna believe this. A bunch more sacks. I'd say probably half a dozen of them. They'll sell. They'll sell. Probably not the best place to put your paint up on top of a shelf that's not totally secure. But this is a. Uh, Hmm. Curb marking paint? Per curb marking? There's paint in there. It's probably, I'd say, three quarters full. Believe it or not, paint sells at the flea market. It's one of those things, kind of crazy. Um, but it really does sell. I don't know about that, though. I don't know what curb marking paint is. Probably it's for marking paint curbs. Maybe it's white, though. If you just have, like, flat white paint... I mean, what is, that doesn't feel right. You hear that? What is in there? Okay, guys, I'm going to be using two cameras, GoPro and iPhone. We'll see which one gets the better footage for you, because this is exciting. What we got here, we got a military bag. And we'll probably get into it. What does it say here? Probably this is a person's name, maybe. Doolin, comma, John. Right? So... John Doolin, and then maybe his 
his um, military ID. Alright, see. So. Okay, so oh, we got some DVDs. Oh, wait. World of Warcraft. Oh, trial edition. That's probably not worth nothing. World of Warcraft video game. We got a Blu ray. Oh, this is welcome to. What is this? Play Beyond. Some for PlayStation 3. Rise of the Silver Surfer. PlayStation 3, that's cool. Alright. I thought these were movies, but they're video games. That's even better. It's a PC game. Warhammer. Battlefield. PC. Okay, good. Rage. Windows. Yeah, looks to be complete. Star Trek Voyager. Another PC, yeah. No, PlayStation. PlayStation 2. How funny, they got quad. Okay, not military items as you can tell by at this point. Yeah, it's pretty gross on the bottom of that. It's pretty gross. Molded. And, okay, there's a DVD workout tape. Wolf's Reign. Final Encounters. Looks like a anime. Probably anime. Okay, Rock Band 2 is Xbox 360. He's got like, what, three? No, four different game systems represented. And here's the original Xbox, Fable. That make that five game systems represented. That's pretty funny. And uh, there's a pillow. That's what we heard rattling around. What is this? See that? It's like a sword, plastic. And there's a pretty grungy basketball. Hmm. Oh boy, there's a bunch of it, whatever it is. And that's actually a good little, just a regular playground ball. Huh. And what we got here is a bunch of. I don't know if these are Legos. It looks like some of them might be Legos. Just miscellaneous toys, huh? This is uh, Angry Birds. I wonder if that's what all this is. You stack these things up and you use these little balls, the, the pig balls, to uh, launch at it and knock it down. I wonder if that's what this is. There definitely seems to be some Lego type stuff here, but that could be from the game for all I know. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, nothing. It's too exciting here, guys. Although these are kind of cool, though. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. Toys, basically. Oh, here's a Lego guy. All right. And that's what it is. Oh boy, that was not as exciting as I thought. <laughs> you see military bag, you're automatically thinking, maybe weapons, maybe weapons. All right guys, that's it. Yeah. We're going to keep exploring this in the future video, but I have a feeling it'll be a while because I'm anxious to get to those pallets. That's the big money, and that's what we're hoping to show you next. We'll see until tomorrow's video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Hit the thumbs up on your way out if you don't mind. Show us you like it watching us go on these adventures you know we're taking you with us literally now with the gopro right here we take you with us uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know when i put out future videos i try to have them out every day not always but uh don't forget monday nights our live show in at the uh, second segment of our live show is the live auction where you can buy some of the more interesting stuff that you see here 
that we pull out of the lockers. All right, you guys, uh, next video will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking It. Whew.